Let me ask you a deep philosophical question here, just for some background. Someone once asked you, what are your favorite parts of Chinese food? And you gave a long answer, too long for me to repeat, and a lot of it I can't pronounce anyway. But you listed seven or, seven or eight different regions that all seem quite different. And these Sichuan peppercorns and mala is not in general done in Shanghai, as you well know. What is the underlying unity that makes all of these Chinese food? Because you instinctively believe in that concept. But what, what is that unity, given the fantastic diversity? Well, um, there are some things you can pull out. The use of chopsticks and its implications for the form of food, which is that you have food that's generally cut into small pieces or it's tender enough to pull apart with chopsticks. And that's one thing that Western observers through the centuries have remarked on about Chinese food, is having these, I mean, for the early Western observers, it was rather disturbing. So you'd have a dish with everything cut fine, you didn't know what it was, you know, maybe it was something really outlandish. So the art of cutting and the cutting of food into small pieces, um, the eating of um, shared dishes with a staple grain, rice in the south, wheat in the north, that's the kind of structure of a meal. You can also pull out um, some very important seasonings, soy sauce and um, other fermented soy pastes, you know. Um, the use of vinegar and soy sauce in combination, ginger, scallion and garlic in various combinations. So you can look at seasonings, also cooking methods. And I know stir frying is the most famous, relatively recent historically, um, but steaming also is a really important core Chinese cooking method. Um, so yeah, looking at a combination of techniques, but I think you always have to, um, you know, when you talk about Chinese cuisine, you always have to take it with a pinch of salt and remember, as I always do, that Chinese people talk about something called xi tan, Western food, and make outrageous generalizations about it too. And you know, of course, from a Chinese point of view, it makes sense to talk about Western food as being different from Chinese, but from a Western point of view, you see all the distinctions.